Hi, it's Lilian here, and welcome to another one of my SD Gundam Gashapon Wars video. And in this one, I'm gonna be fighting against Char himself, and his capsule boss is gonna be consist of just various very powerful mobile suits and mobile hours from the Universal Century. Roll a card that occupied five spaces for me. And I guess you can see as one of my unit goes beside this unit, uh, his unit will be revealed and you can see a cube over there. Another five squares. And he actually sends his the O and Cubulate against my army of three. And as he's the one attacking, he got the few seconds advantages as you saw at the beginning. Justice just got massacred by the O there. And as you can see, all the items are question mark blocks. In all the other game modes, you can actually see the items showing, but as part of the freedom mode, all the items are going to be hidden, so it's always a hit or miss that whether you get a power up or a power down item. And as you can see, freedom just got a sparking soul item, which reduces reload time and also unleashes the mobile suit's ability and lets it basically spam high burst mode like you also see earlier the old did and just how the old got a sparking soul and destroyed justice and a lot of those in battle bonus items are really game breaking that's why I mean, having those items hidden really adds more reliability to this game. I mean, more uncertainty of course. Just flew into a trap. Saber versus the Psycho Gundam and the Mobile Armor Mode in the Sailor. I'm just doing my best to survive here, but it, it's chances are I'm gonna be destroyed before the time runs out. Yep, just slaughtered. So that's the Saber Gundam down for nothing. Blast impulse has nothing to blast. And I think between the blast impulse and destiny, I'll be able to take those two down if I play the destiny just right. Looks like I was able to avenge Saver Gundam. And by the end of that battle, you can see both Destiny and Blast Impulse had their face shift down. Blasted me for 160 damage. Let me 
it seems like that I'm winning quite a bit here, but things can certainly change quickly, as you will, will, you're about to see. Trying to occupy as much territory as possible. All of the goals here. just rolled a card that will review all of my mobile suits. You can just see between the Queen Mantha and the Alpha Agro, I believe, destroyed three of my best Gundams, while those two are barely, barely scratched, and he occupied a base and summoned Ziyang. Which just turned the whole game around in one turn. What I love about this game is there was just so much uncertainty when you thought you had the game in the bag. Something just suddenly happens and turns the whole game around, which makes the game just that much more fun. Yeah, I mean, I just went from having 7 units to having 4. What I'm trying to do here is just to win. As you can see, trying to win by occupying 70% of, of the map. Because I mean, there's no way I can counter attack with the four mobile suits I have. Stay tuned for part 2 and watch my counter attack against Shark. <laughs> <laughs> 